Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Saturday, November 4th at 8.35 p.m. Mountain Time. Giving you a Comet 96P update. Guys, if you've been following space weather the last week, you know about the return of Comet 96P. I don't know if you got some good visuals from the Soho Movie Theater, but you're about to get some tonight because we have a full uh, movie display of the front and the back side of 96p and I will run it through the different modes c2 and c3 for you now this came through October 25th this is looking from earth direction and that's mercury there in the back moving left to right here and there is 96p it's an interesting comet comes back every five and a half years I'll give you the shots from the back side of the sun. This is a really interesting shot. Are you going to see under the screen in the bottom here? Go in front of the sun and then show up there. What appears to be a little fatter or fluffier on the back side. 96P Macholtz or 96P Macholtz 1 is a short period sun grazing comet discovered on May 12, 1986 by amateur astronomer Donald Macholtz on Loma Prieta Peak in Central California. He was using binoculars. Macholtz 1 is unusual among comets in several respects. Its highly eccentric 5.2 year orbit has the smallest perihelion distance known among numbered regular short period comets, bringing it considerably cl closer to the sun than the orbit of Mercury. It is also the only known short period comet with both high orbital inclination and high eccentricity. In 20, 2007, Matchholtz 1 was found to be both carbon depleted and cyanogen depleted, a chemical composition nearly unique among comets with known compositions. The chemical composition implies a different and possible extrasolar origin. I just thought we found the only extra solar system object ever the other week, but I guess there's others. I guess they have no idea what they're talking about. Let's look at the Soho Movie Theater. And then we'll go to 3D animation. There it is. I'll give you the five-day swing through. And then we'll reverse it. Because you can just hit reverse. Guys, I will give you links to the movie search, but I don't know if you'll actually get the movie itself. But what you're going to want to put in is October 25th to November 1st, and you'll be able to get this footage because that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the footage backwards from November 1st to October 25th. This is in reverse. Now, I want you to notice down here, I'm going to stop it and go forward here again and stop it. I want you to notice there's two tails. There's two ion, an ion tail and a plasma tail. Two different tails on this baby. And we can just see them both emerge right down in here. Right there. Double tail. Double tail. That's pretty hot. And to have this technology at your fingertips is even more amazing. If we can't see the electric nature of this comet, NASA, you're blind. Let's go to the 3D sim. I'll get you familiar with 96P. First, I'll get you dizzy. Let me put it in a nice position relative to the solar system. And you can see the orbit. There it is. And when they say it's highly eccentric, look at the eccentricity on this. It's not that elliptical. And it literally comes right by the sun here. Look how close in between Mercury and the sun. It's right in the middle here. So let's pan in on the closeness. And you can just see it. This is November 1st, close approach. We've had some major earthquakes on November 1st, which would have given us, and the October 28th we had some major quakes. There's an interesting alignment here.
and I'll let you do a run through. That's how it came through the solar system, the plane of the ecliptic. On the 29th, we had some big quakes. Guys, I'll leave you links to this viewer. You can view every single comet. Just come up here and click on what you want to look at in 3D. And this thing will blow your mind. There's the Pluto orbit way off kilter with the rest of the plane of the ecliptics. It's just a really good way to familiarize yourself with the celestial mechanics of what's going on here and how close these objects are coming to the sun. So we have good visuals on 96P. I'll leave you links to the movie. You can reverse it down here. You can pick the frames you want after you download the amount of frames that you put. And 96P has safely come around us and won't be back until 2022-23, which is when K2 is coming, another electric comet. And these two comets are going to come into the solar system at the same place at the same time. K2 is going to come back out here while this comet is coming in here. We're going to have a comet mania in 2022-23. It's going to be a comet festival. And we're going to make comet history with 96P and K2 coming in at the same time in 2022 during the peak of the Grand Solar Minimum. Anything could happen. Maybe this is what the ancients were talking about. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Be safe.